New here at 10 tonight. Time and again, we have told you about missing mail. Packages stolen, checks taken, sometimes forged, and cash. It is still happening, but tonight, a possible solution. CBS 2's Sabrina Franza is live in the loop to explain. Sabrina. Well, many times those stolen checks, stolen letters are taken out of blue mailboxes like this one, and thieves use keys to get inside using these locks. Now the USPS says they have a plan to devalue these locks, only it's not clear when those victims, like the one you're about to hear from, will see some results. If you can't trust the mail system, and if you can't trust that your bills are being paid properly and mailed properly, and we're lost as a society. Eves Mulkey sent two checks in the mail, the same thing he's been doing for 50 years. This time, they were stolen out of the blue collection box he'd put them in. There was a man at the bank trying to cash a check. One check went to Citibank, who caught the fraud and stopped it before it was cashed. The person ran off. Soon after, the second check was cashed at a currency exchange with a new name. They took Malky's name out in exchange, walked away with almost $3,000. Cashed the check and did give the cash. Because of in that first case, alert, Malky stopped payment on the second check. The we told him about the arrow keys that we've been reporting on for years. Those are postal keys that open mailboxes across a particular zone. They don't change the lock. They don't change the lock. No. Even after the key is stolen. Correct. Well, that's ridiculous. <laughs> now the United States Post Office is changing their tone, reporting 412 letter carriers robbed on the job in 2022, many times for those arrow keys. 305 just in the first half of 2023. They're hoping to install 12,000 high security blue collection boxes in the next fiscal year to high risk areas. It's not clear what those will look like and 49,000 electronic locks to replace those arrow locks. <laughs> It's a dent in the total number of mailboxes across the country. USPS has 139,409 total. Everybody I tell a story to say, oh, this happened to a friend of mine, this happened to me. So it's, it's a very common thing. No word yet on when all of this will be installed and where they will be installed. As for the electronic locks, the timeline on that, all we got was soon. No elaboration, and we will keep asking for that. Now, important to note, these new measures address the mailboxes like this blue one you see next to me, not the ones you would find in an apartment or other private mailboxes that use the same keys. We're live in the loop. Sabrina Franza, CBS 2 News. Does sound like changes are coming, though. Sabrina, thanks.